In this video, we'll take a look into how Assured Workloads puts you in control and provides transparency in the data access. Because when it comes to your data, Google Cloud believes you should always have the final say on who has access. I'm Carter Morgan, and I'm excited to show you a few ways Google Cloud's data sovereignty protects your data, no matter where that data resides. Google Cloud provides customers with easy to use capabilities to comprehensively manage who has access to what in your cloud environment. But there are some limited circumstances where cloud administrators may need to access customer content. For instance, US cloud providers are subject to legal seizure requests to provide customer data to local and federal law enforcement agencies to comply with the US Cloud Act. In response to this concern from customers around the globe, Google Cloud created Assured Workloads. Assured workloads provide customers with controls to restrict unauthorized access to your data, even in the event of a legal seizure request. As a quick overview, Assured Workloads is a product that helps you implement and enforce specific controls so you can confidently run sensitive workloads on Google Cloud. This includes data residency, data access, and personnel access as the core controls, all of which we highlighted in a previous video. All organizations need to do is to select the regulatory framework they need to comply with, and Google Cloud will automatically deploy the necessary controls to support your regulatory requirements. To provide the highest level of protection, transparency, and control to our customers, we expanded Assure Workloads to offer what we call sovereignty controls. This video focuses on three key sovereignty controls in Assured Workloads, Cloud External Key Manager, Key Access Justification, and Signed Access Approvals. Cloud External Key Manager, or EKM is a Google Cloud service that allows customers to store and manage encryption keys outside of Google Cloud. When you use Cloud EKM, externally managed keys are never cached or stored within Google Cloud, and you can choose on a per folder basis where you want to use external keys. The next sovereignty control I want to talk about is Key Access Justifications, or KAJ, which is offered through Assured Workloads. This control adds a field to your Cloud EKM request that allows you to view the system-generated reason for each request. You use KAJ to set policies to automatically approve or deny requests for keys based on the provided justification. It's important to note Google cannot modify the access controls or key access justification policies for any external keys, meaning that in the event of a third-party request for your data, you will be notified via request type and can approve or deny it. The final sovereignty control is Signed Access Approval, or SAA. This control uses the cryptographic signature of your externally managed keys to sign access requests that you approve. This verifies integrity of the access approval that allows access to your data. These sovereignty controls work together with the baseline controls of Assured Workload to restrict access to your data in the following ways. Data is restricted to a region of the customer's choice. Support personnel access to customer data is audited and can require customer approval. Cloud EKM allows customers to hold and manage their encryption keys outside of Google Cloud. KAJ ensures the customers are in control of when and why their data is accessed, and SAA helps prevent unauthorized access approvals. Simply put, by using assured workloads with sovereignty controls, Google cannot decrypt customer data without approval, which customers can withhold for any reason. But enough talk, let's see sovereignty controls in action. Let's see an example of EKM in action. In this demo, we've already created keys and set up assured workloads. In this demo, we're using Talis, but there are many external key managers that offer a similar feature set. We've also created a BigQuery dataset that contains a table of mock data, and we've protected this dataset with an external key. We'll run the query and you can see the results populate. A lot is happening behind the scenes to make sure the data is secure. Because this data set has been encrypted, that means there must have been a request to the external key manager, Talis. If we look at the logs, you'll see that a request was sent out and the reason for the unwrapped request was customer initiated access. Now let's examine how you as the customer retain control over your data. In our EKM, we can look at the endpoint and can enable or disable it. If we disable the endpoint and rerun our BigQuery query, you'll see we get an error saying the key URI is disabled. We can just as easily re-enable that endpoint and access is allowed again.
Let's see an example of setting up and using KAJ in Titleist. Now, let's disable different types of access using key access justifications. To show this, we'll start by rotating the key, which will retire or replace the existing key with a new one. We'll still point the key towards the same endpoint, but when we go to our logs, we'll see a Google initiated system operation took place. It's a different type of reason. These reasons can be used as access justifications and can be enabled or disabled individually. Remember, with Google Cloud, you are the ultimate arbiter of access to your data. Google Cloud's data sovereignty controls like Cloud EKM, KAJ, and SAA ensure that you have control and transparency. So there you have it. If you want to learn more, visit cloud.google.com slash assured workloads. And stay tuned for more episodes of Assured Workloads and Sovereignty Updates to learn how to run cloud workloads with compliance in mind. Thanks for watching.